What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, you and I will be creating a sketch illustration of Spider-Punk from across the Spider-Verse. Let's begin today's lesson by breaking down the basic shape and pose of our character. Let's start at the very top and sketch out a circle. I'm just going to rough this in. Now the circle doesn't have to be perfect, we just want to get the right size and placement on our page. So along the top, just going all the way around to smooth this out. Now I want to angle the head coming over towards the right. So on the top of our circle, let's step over towards the right side. I'm just going to angle this down, just past the bottom of our circle to right about here towards the base of the neck. From here it's going to sketch out a small circle. Now from the base of the neck, we're going to curve the spine going across towards the right and then down. So then it's out and then down. Now going back to the side of our circle, we're just going to angle the head coming in towards that center line. So let's start on the left. So we're going to taper this in on both sides. Curve this down and in towards the base of the neck. Now I want to slope the shoulder line from the neck, going up towards the left and then down towards the right. On the end of that shoulder line, we're going to sketch a circle going all the way around. I'm just going to place this roughly in this area right here and then draw that same size circle on the right side. Now from the left jaw, I'm just going to angle the neck coming down and across. Let's go underneath the chin on the right side and draw that same angled line. From the side of the neck, let's slope the shoulders coming down and then out. Let's go to the outside left shoulder. We're going to curve the back, coming down and then in towards the bottom of our page. And I'm going to follow this curve from here, coming out. Let's go to the end of the right shoulder, curve the body, going out and then down towards the bottom. Now I'm going to pose our character with the arms crossed in towards the center of the body. Let's start from the center of the left shoulder. I'm just going to angle the arm, coming down and then in towards the elbow. And then in the elbow, I'm just going to sketch out a small circle. From the center of the elbow, I'm just going to curve the forearm, going out and up to right about there. Now I'm going to angle the arm, going up towards the top, slope this up, bend this down, and then back out towards the wrist. Now I'm going to fold the right arm on top of the left elbow. So starting up here, I'm just going to angle the arm, coming down towards the elbow and draw another circle going across the end. From the center of the elbow, I'm just going to angle the arm going up the top of the left elbow. Now I'm just going to place the hand on top, going out, flatten off the end, and just pull that back up towards the wrist. Now we're going to go back and add some shape to the arms and hands. Let's start from the elbow, we're going to step up towards the top of that circle, then the forearm going out and then up towards the hand. Go down to the bottom of the elbow and do the same thing, just tapering it towards a narrow wrist. From the top of the elbow, bend the arm, going out and up towards the shoulder. And do the same thing across the bottom. Let's do the same thing across the right arm, coming down towards the elbow. And then flatten off the outside of the arm. Now let's add some rough shape to the hand. We're going to start by extending out the outside fingers, going out and up, taping that back in. Now on the outside, I'm just going to bend this out and back in. On the inside, let's add a curve for the thumb. Now I'm going to do the same thing across the right hand. Starting along the top, I'm just going to bend out the first finger, taper that in, and do the same thing across the bottom. Along the top, let's bend out the thumb. Now going back up to the top, we want to tilt the head slightly over towards the right. So connect the top and bottom of the center line. It's going out towards the right, and then back down. Let's block in the eyes. From the center, leave a gap, bend this out, and up toward the left and right side. Turn it about there down and out. Go back to the inside, then the eyes going out and then down towards the jaw. 
from the outside, curve around towards the side of the head, and then come down towards that bottom point. Now from here I can see that I want to extend the chin down a little bit lower. So I'm bring this down towards the bottom of that circle. And just smoothing out the side of the head. Now we're going to place those spikes along the top center of the head. So starting up here, start with a circle. And at the very top, draw a half circle. Let's place that first spike along that bottom circle. Starting from the left, I'm going to angle this up and then come down towards the right side. Let's go up to the half circle, draw the same thing. Another spike coming down, just in behind. Now I'm going to move back and draw the tip of that third spike in behind the head. Move over towards the left and draw a smaller point. Now that we have the basic shape of our character, I'm going to go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. I want to clean up those areas in between. Now with our clean drawing in place, let's go back and add a second level of detail. Let's start by adding the inside edge of the vest, starting from the top left shoulder, and bend this across the body, and then down and behind the arm. Let's go to the base of the right side of the neck and do the same thing. Adding that curve coming down, just continue that down towards the bottom. Let's add that cuff around the left wrist, starting around the wrist, down and just closing off the ends. I'm also going to add an armband across the top of the left arm, starting with two curves. I just want to extend this out towards the side, so it just overlaps the arm. And then across the base of the neck, we're going to add that collar, starting along the bottom and trace out the top. And then just along the bottom, it's going to add the shirt, just the edge of the collar. Now I'm going to go back and add a little bit more shape to the hand and wrist. Just pulling that in behind. Tucking the forearm in behind on top. And then we'll just add the knuckles in between the fingers. Add a thick trim around the eyes. So just tracing the eyes along the inside and going a little bit thinner along the outside. Once we're happy with the rough sketch, we're going to go in and start adding some detail and contrast. So I'm going to start with the eyes, just adding a little bit of fold along the inside of the brow, and then we're just going to drip the bottom edge, just adding a few points coming down and it'll darken up the inside of that trim. I'm also going to add a shadow on the right side of these spikes and then just fade that out towards the left to create a bit of a highlight effect. And move up and do the same thing to the other spikes. And with the eyes, I'm just going to shade the top and then fade that down. Just 
adding a little bit more detail to the collar. Just gonna add some studs going around the top and adding a bottom row, just making small circles. And it'll darken up the collar going around those studs. I'm just going to tear up the edge of the sleeve on the vest. Just gonna lightly add some spikes going around that armband. I just want to wrap this around the sides. And go back and just darken that up. Now let's add a light shade to the inside of that armband. Just roughly going around those studs. And then darken up the bottom, leaving a little bit of a highlight edge. And as we come up, we're just gonna fade that out to create a bit of a highlight in the middle. Darken that up again as it goes towards the right. I'm going back and adding some more shape and detail to the hands. Just rounding up the fingers. Let's add a light web texture going across the head and the body. And then using the side edge of our pencil, we're just gonna add some shadows. Just gonna place the shadows across the bottom areas of the body, starting with the arm. And we just fade that up.
And as we get near the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows in a little bit more detail. And always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Spider Punk. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to draw more lessons like this, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.